Good morning and welcome to Global Health Cast Summary. And today we will present you all about the epidemiology of dengue virus and dengue virus disease. I am Joe Schmidt and with me is Dr. Melvin Senecas. Good morning, Melvin. Good morning, Professor Schmidt, and good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to everyone watching our Global Health Cast. So today, I will be presenting a short summary on the epidemiology of, of dengue. And you will see on this slide that the dengue virus is really uh, primarily transmitted from person to person through the bite of an infected Aegis aegypti or an Aedes albopictus mosquito. Humans are the primary host and source of the virus for female mosquitoes to acquire the dengue virus through a blood meal from infected humans. And on, on the next slide, you will see that um, this is really basically what, what happens. You see the mosquitoes here, um, they infect, they are infected when they uh, bite uh, a human being that has uh, deng the dengue virus in the system and then they can transfer it to other uh, humans. Mosquitoes become infective after an incubation period of around eight to 12 days, and they can transmit the dengue virus for the rest of their life, which is just around one month. The peak of the dengue epidemic period is during the rainy season in the countries where dengue is a big problem. And of course, climate is an important factor for dengue transmission. And now because of climate change and all the effects of climate change, we are seeing um, more problems with dengue and other viruses that are transmitted by mosquitoes. On the next slide, you will see that um, the disease is really common in many popular tourist destinations in the Caribbean, Central and South America, Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands. And here you will see that the countries where, where dengue is a big problem are shaded darker. Um, and anyone who lives in or travels to these areas in the world are at risk for infection. So before you travel, please make sure to find country specific travel information to really help you plan your, your trip. On the next slide, you will see a focus on um, a specific area of the world. So you can see here Europe, right? And Europe has really recorded almost as many locally caught cases of dengue in 2022 alone, um, compared to the previous 11 years of uh, surveillance of the ECDC. And the mosquito species Aedes albopictus, which spreads chikungunya and dengue is really moving further north and west in Europe while Aedes aegypti, uh, which spreads diseases, including dengue again, yellow, yellow fever and chikungunya, became established in countries like Cyprus last year. So with climate change, we expect more cases in Europe in the coming years. On the next slide, um, you will see again the, the list of our dengue podcasts featuring um, Professor Tino Svarts, Professor Leung Ho Nam, and uh, Professor Marco Safadi. Thank you, Melvin. And it, coming back to this map, I'm living right here at the River Rhine, and uh, I worry that this looks like it is a dengue, dengue endemic area. I'm not aware of this, and physicians in the area are not aware of it. So uh, this is correct, right? Just to confirm, dengue has arrived in Europe, correct? Yes, especially in the southern part. So we've had um, dengue locally um, transmitted uh, dengue cases in parts of Spain, in parts of Portugal, uh, Greece. But of course, the mosquitoes are going up, especially with climate change. And how about the Alpine regions right here, Switzerland and Austria? Uh, the, 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 these mosquitoes can survive in the winters here. I mean, winters are getting milder, so they can survive there. Is, is that in, that is the issue, right? Yes, so far not yet, uh, because these mosquitoes, as you mentioned, they cannot really survive colder temperatures. But in the summer, it's possible. 
Interesting. Yeah. I have one other question on this slide here. So we see the infected human is the source for the mosquito to get infected and the mosquito then with the next blood, me blood meal uh, infects uh, more humans and that uh, maintains the circle. So if you vaccinate humans with a highly effective vaccine, the human reservoir would disappear. So there must be another reservoir, but humans, right? Yes, so there, uh, dengue can actually be uh, transmitted as well to non-human primates, and uh, they are also um, a reservoir for the dengue virus. But in most countries, especially in the ones that we, we have seen in, in the map with the darker regions, the humans are really the, the primary uh, reservoir for dengue. Very interesting. Um, so in the end, uh, you, it may not be able to eliminate the disease, but with a good vaccination program using a good vaccine, it should be possible to control the disease, right? To reduce it to a minimum amount that is out there. You agree on that? Uh, is, would that be possible in principle? Control. Control is the, yeah, control is, is the goal. Yeah, control is the goal. Thank you very much, Melvin. Uh, that was another highlight uh, and a lot of learning. Uh, dengue has arrived in Europe. I guess that's the main message. Thank you very much for listening to us today. I am Joe Schmidt and with me is... Melvin Sanikas. Thank you, everyone, and stay safe.